Cut to fit axles from Curry Enterprises. What spline count? What bolt pattern? How long are they? Today we're going to go over some of their specs. Hi, I'm John Henson here for Curry Enterprises, and today we're going to talk about our cut to fit axles. Well, what is a cut to fit axle really? It's pretty much just that. These are going to be axles with four inches of spline at the end of the axle shaft that can be trimmed down three inches, leaving just an inch that's going to be what's going to engage in the nine inch third member in whatever rear end you may be building. The reason why we make these cut to fit axles is for guys at home that may be narrowing their own rear end or for shops that are going to narrow a rear end and aren't quite sure where it's going to end up as far as length is concerned. So this way it gives you some flexibility when you're making those cuts and building something custom at home or at a shop. So our cut to fit axles, they're available in 28, 31, and 35 spline counts. Basically available to mate up to whatever nine inch third member you may be running in your vehicle. We do make these in a few different sizes. They're available in 26, 29, 32, and 35 inches long. The 28 spline version of this is mainly geared towards the guys that are modifying early Mustang or small bearing housings. So the 28 spline version is going to come with a small bearing, a single five on four and a half early Ford bolt pattern. In our 31 through 35 spline axles, we make those in a dual bolt pattern, both five on four and a half and five on four and three quarter, your common Ford and Chevy car patterns. We do supply a Timken set 20 large bearing and a locking collar. We do supply two different sets of studs. It'll be supplied with 10 7 16 studs and 10 half inch studs, again, mainly for your early Chevy and early Ford applications. You'll notice that on these shafts for the cut to fit, we do ship them with the bearings loose. The reason why we do that is because we may not know what type of brakes you may be using on the application. And there might need to be something get slid onto the axle shaft before the bearing. In that case, then, you'd be able to slide the bearings off, slip on a bracket, and then have the bearings and the locking collar pressed in a hydraulic press. We do supply a standard retainer plate, which would be good for any drum brake or most aftermarket applications, but in the event that your brake kit needs something different, this can be removed. If you have any more questions in regards to our cut to fit axles, please give our sales guys a call. We'll be happy to go over the horsepower rating on these which is something difficult to do because they may vary based on the application. If you have an off-road vehicle or a drag race or high-performance, high-horsepower application on a sticky tire, probably want to go with the 35 spline. However, if you're building a street car or something that's a little milder, the 28 or 31 spline may be more than sufficient. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, or drop a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.